Welcome back to Studio 10. We are outside and it is time to spring into action and help save a life. Baldwin EMC is hosting its annual spring blood drive and you can also get free COVID-19 antibody testing. Mark Ingram is here with the details. Mark, good to see you as always. Always good to see you, Joe. Thanks for having us. Well, we always appreciate what you guys do in above and beyond for the community in so many different ways. One of the things you do is this blood drive. Tell the folks a little bit about it. Absolutely. Well, this is our 10th year for the mm -hmm. spring into action blood drive and it's scheduled for this Thursday, March 25th at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It will be held at our Somerdale parking lot and our Somerdale office on Highway 59. What do you know about the need for blood donations at this time? Well, in talking with Life South, as we always know, during this time of year, there is a need for blood with people traveling for spring break and then surgeries that are taking place in the hospital. So right now, there is a critical need for blood. So I encourage everyone to come out and, and make a donation. And it's been roughly one year since everything started to shut down due to the coronavirus pandemic. So things are different this year. It's unique that you can do the antibody testing at the same time. So tell us a little bit about how that's all gonna work. Well, it's very simple. All you have to be is at least 17 years old and 110 pounds and uh, in good health. So you come in and you fill out a little sheet of paper and give them some information. And at that time, they will do some uh, preliminary medical diagnostics on you, make sure you're ready to give blood. Mm -hmm. And then once you give blood, then you'll get a free antibody test um, for the uh, COVID. So it's kind of unique in that you can help save lives with your blood donation, but then also maybe learn about if you've been exposed to COVID-19, if you have the antibodies in your system, and all that knowledge and all that research with something newer like coronavirus goes a long way in terms mm -hmm. of helping the community as a whole. So it sounds like a win-win for all involved. It is a win-win situation. We always have a, a great turnout uh, mm -hmm. for the people that come and give blood. So we hope we'll have a good showing this year. We feel like we will. Uh, you know, COVID did put a kink into things. We mm -hmm. usually have it in our training center where there's more room, but Life South will have their blood mobiles out front and uh, look for the large American flag on Highway 59. Drop in, stay about an hour and give blood. Lastly, I don't want to catch you off guard here, but I do want to ask you, we do have the possibility of severe weather tomorrow rolling through our area. We're going to talk to Michael about it in just a second, but what can you tell folks about getting prepared and what to do in case their power is knocked out or anything like that tomorrow night going into Thursday? Well, y'all always do a great job in making yeah. people storm ready. And that's the first thing I would tell people. Be storm ready. Have your emergency kit. Have your house in order for the storms that could be rolling in. Always be prepared and listen to the weather forecast. As far as our responsibility, we will have crews on standby ready to respond to any outages. As we know, this one's rolling in through the middle of the night. Right. So uh, we may have some outages and uh, we'll respond to those outages as safely and get the power back on as quickly as we possibly can. So I encourage everybody to be storm ready and. We're only about three months away from hurricane season, too. That's right. All right, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Thank Guys, you. keep that blood drive in mind. Again, an extra benefit this year with getting that antibody testing, if that's something you are interested in doing. So, Chelsea, a lot of information to take in there. And as we're talking about, the forecast is so incredible.